the brakes to slow the car down. No handbrake there. That was perfect. Here we go. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we're here on Forza Motorsports 7, staring at a grassroots tuned 350Z. It's about 400 horsepower, no race diff, no race transmission or anything on those lines. It is basically for the SSR grassroots series. But I wanted to take a step back from racing all these high end cars, these high end drift cars, and take a step back to grassroots style driving lower power, less grippy tires less you know performance into it and no handbrake so we're going to try everything we can do to not use a handbrake today using more clutch kicks like i said basically going back down to the grassroots style of driving so we are at vir here on forza motorsport 7 and we got the full wheel up and going we're gonna go send it like i said we're gonna be using more clutch kicks and uh Less handbrake, gonna try not really use handbrake, so we're gonna be using some clutch kick. Left foot braking. Oh, too much and <laughs> stuff on those lines. First turn, not the greatest, but we'll get it. So I wanted to take a step back and do more of this style of driving. It's a lot of left foot brake. Because I rely too much on my handbrake I've noticed so if I can get used to using basically the weight of the car and more clutch kicks like that and left foot braking I feel my driving will improve and <laughs> we're just ribbing this 350 here at VIR like I said more clutch kicks Oh, too soon. First lap out. We're going to definitely try and make this a lot better on our second lap. Throwing that clutch kicks. Using left foot brake a little bit. Not touching the handbrake, though. Car uh, snapped a little bit quicker than I thought. So this is something I've been trying to do recently to try and better my driving. And not rely so much on handbrake. Because I notice that sometimes I rely a little bit too much on handbrake. And uh, I feel if I'm more committed when it comes to clutch kicking and stuff like that, my lines might get better, may get more points in judging aspects and competitions because of commitment. So first run out first lap not the greatest but we're going to continue this here and see if we can't better in our second run now i can't really do super high speed entry i mean i probably could try and do super high speed entries but we're going to try and basically do this as if this is my three 350z and i was at vir that's a little bit better really hard on the left foot brake There we go. Using the brakes to slow the car down. No handbrake there. That was perfect. There we go. Now I'm getting it. Now we're getting the feels. No handbrake. Transitioning through those S's. Using left foot braking. And the clutch to keep the car kind of where I want it to go. And I feel like it's a lot more of an interesting drive. Clutch kicking for days in grassroots cars is always fun. There we go, we got that too. Up the hill, out to the cones, a little left foot break, clutch kick transition. There we go. So if you guys don't have a handbrake, I always said you could you can't drift. 
because I know a lot of people don't have handbrakes or can't really access the handbrake too easily. And these brakes are not set to rear wheel or set to lock the rear, rear end just like it would be if it was a handbrake. It's still a 50-50 bias, but it's down to about a 55% pressure. So I can do more left foot braking. Second lap, so much better. So now you saw the lap where I would use no clutch. Now we're gonna run a lap, or no handbrake. Now we're gonna run a lap basically with handbrake so you can see the difference in, I guess, style and stuff like that. But I'm trying not to rely as much on handbrake now as I was before. That's a really long handbrake drag. And really long handbrake drags could actually cause a lot less points in a uh, competition style. See, I didn't need to pull a handbrake there last time. I was able to complete the track without a handbrake. Now, I'm not saying a handbrake is a bad thing. But it is kind of a clutch sometimes, a crutch sometimes in certain aspects of a track because you're using it more than you should be and you're slowing the car down. So when you have somebody chasing you, you're kind of slowing the car down a little bit. So if you can get used to basically, you know, clutch kicking and doing that kind of stuff without using a handbrake, I feel the tandems could be a lot more intense and a lot more fun and this would be how I would normally drive it and if you notice using handbrake kind of getting the same course as I was with no handbrake but I don't and this is just testament of I don't need to use it I don't really need to use it to get where I want to go and get the car to do what I want to do as long as the car is very well tuned and this 350 has a pretty decent suspension underneath it right now. The r <laughs> ripping VQ. But so I just wanted to sh take a step back and go back to grassroots style driving where we're using, you know, more clutch kicks, more, and, you know, body roll and all that rather than relying on a handbrake because I know I've relied on it so much that. I've gotten used to just pulling it so much and I don't want to do that anymore. Now when it comes to being in a chase position that's a little bit different because being in a chase position you still probably need to use a handbrake and stuff like that. I'm trying to find an interesting track to go. Go Maple Valley. We'll go drift Maple Valley without a handbrake and see what we can do. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Hope you guys are enjoying this video, and I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to get at by taking a step back, going to a lower-powered car, and getting back to the grassroots style of driving, because a lot of people don't have handbrakes on sim rigs like I do with a Vanatec, or they don't want to modify there, so they're trying to find ways to drift without it. So you can do it. It's not that, I mean, it's, it's not that it's super easy, but... It's also not very difficult. I don't think this car is going to have enough power to do the sweeper. Oh, all the clutch kicks. There we go. So I've been having a lot of fun doing this grassroots style of driving that does not mean I'm going to be not competing in pro style. I am pro in SSR since ESDA has been put on the back burner for the moment, but they do have a grassroots competition as well, which I may actually try and compete in because, well, I have a lot of fun with this Z and it is the grassroots spec, you know, stocker street tires, 400 horsepower cars. You know, no race diffs, so, you know, you have not a full locking diff on D-cell, and, you know, you can't have a full race transmission, so your gears are kind of, you know, what the cars run. 
and they're lighter cars, no roll cage and stuff like that. So they're a lot of fun and a lot of fun to bang around and bash around. And this Z. Uh, I don't think I was gonna make that very low angle. Trying to save this car. Just hurting red line with this car. Oh, don't hit that. <laughs> so these turns are definitely very long and high speed and I'm not sure if this Z has the power. I mean, it probably does. Whew. So like I said, taking a step back, doing something a little bit different here today in Forza Motorsport 7. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit different style of driving from what you're used to seeing with me. And just, you know, I'm trying to become a bit of a better driver. That was not good. And in order to do that, I decided to take a few steps back and go back to basically car control and getting more comfortable with the car rather than relying on handbrake as a clutch or as a crutch pretty much. I don't know why I keep saying clutch because I'm thinking all about these clutch kicks. And this red line, this, this VQ would have been blown up already. So like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, grassroots grass. We saved it though. All the left foot brakes. Oh my goodness. We got it. We're good. That's too much fun.